Hello everybody, it's Niklas and welcome to this new video on Adobe Dimension. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can place a graphic. So it means to place an image, it can be an illustration, it can be uh, something more, it can be a logo directly on your models. If you like my video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also let like on the video. And if you are interested by more about Adobe Dimension, everything is on the first link on the description. It is Adobe Dimension, the complete course. So first link on the description. So let's start. The first thing that I'm going to do is to create a small presentation. And for this, I go on the left and select the model side table. I can go left click and then zoom a little bit here. I want to position something on the table. So I continue and let's select the coffee cup. Drag and move directly on the top of the table, for example, on the left. Now, the next step is to position something more. So first I position the coffee cup, drag and move here. And the next step is to position something more. And let's apply, for example, um, the pump lead just like this. So left click and position this here. So now I have these two elements. If I want, I can scale. If I want to increase this size, I can press shift and just increase the size just like that. Let's create also a small rotation. Now I would like to position directly a graphic on this. First, let's add a material. Click on the table materials and I'm just going to select the this wood materials then I can click outside and click on the coffee cup inside my group I have the cup first so I can click on the cup and for example drag and move this uh, plastic just like this and I can click on the lid click on the lid and I can apply this other type of plastic like that um, I think here I'm going to change I think I'm going to change and just go on the right, click on the cup, click on this option and just change the base color. I'm going to click on color maybe and uh, rootness also. I think I'm going to remove this material. It's going to be better and just apply a different color. So I can click on the cup, click on this area and base color. Let's create something in red. So now let's click also on the pump lead. I have the body first and on the body, let's activate a color. Click here, body material, base color. Let's activate red. And I can come back. I have also the lead here and I'm going to drag and move the same plastic materials, just like that. I'm not sure it was the same. I think he yeah, the same as this. Now I want to put a graphic. First, I select First, I select the coffee cup. I go on the right, I can apply cup and directly go on these options. You can find place graphic on models, place graphic on models. So just go left click and thanks to that, you can open what you want. And I'm going to apply, for example, this uh, logo. I can just go left click. And automatically, the logo will be applied directly on your coffee cup. After to edit that, you can drag and move your logo with just left click. You can also scale. You can take this point. If you press shift, you can keep the proportionality and you can also create some rotation like that. If you go on the right, you have the placement decal. You have also fill, but fill here. It's not good. Stay on decal and you can scale one more time proportionally or not proportionally, you can then work with the opacity of your graphic. You can work with the rootness of your graphic and metallic of your graphic, just like this. So definitely it is amazing. Uh, if I just remove this element, I can click on the cup one more time, go on the right and click on graphic and remove with delete on my keyboard. Let's take another example. I select one more time the cup. If you click on the lead, you will apply the graphic on the lead. Here, it's not what I want to do. So I can click on the cup, just go on 
place graphic select for example this logo and one more time perfect i can position my logo here work with rootness work with metallic if i want to change the size i can press shift and just scale my logo just like this and the render is just amazing if i want to see better i can also come back to my default material base color if for example i change to create contrast i can obtain this render you can also put any image if i go on the right pump lead i can select the body one more times and apply place graphic on models but this time i can apply an image um, you have the possibility you can apply something like if I apply marble like a texture it's not going to be the best because you can position the texture directly on materials but sometimes it can be useful just to create something like this as you can see and for example I can take this print I can reduce non-proportionally on this direction and I can for example extend here to turn around and I can apply this graphic around my circle I need to extend like this here so as you can see it's something uh, interesting that you can do i can scale a little bit on this area and scale a little bit on this area uh, let's take another example i'm going to click on this graphic press delete click again on the pump lead select the body one more times and place graphic again if for example i just want to position an image with a beach double click here position the image if for example i go change placement for fill i'm going to have my image on all the uh, body of this object just like that after if i want i can scale change the position just like this but generally the most of the time we use decal and for example i can just reduce little bit this image it's also useful when you create a basic design for a brand with, for example, a title. It can be a graphic document. You can put this directly on your models, just like this. So this is why Adobe Dimension is one of the best 3D modeling tools to introduce your work. You can create something with Photoshop, with Illustrator, and then you can just use Dimension to present your, to introduce your work to create mock-up like this and it is amazing so we are going to stop for this video if you like subscribe to my youtube channel you can also let like on the video i uh, the complete course adopt dimension in this is available on the first link on the description so if you want to master everything is dimension uh, first link on the description you will find the model the session of the course if you are interested for more for the next video see you ciao ciao